I'd love to see. Like you asked me originally about the coin tour I find. I said I'm just happy to see him fine. Same thing with this new new guy that's on the feed, Gage or Gadge or something like that. He's fine. Air performance I thought last time the light with the Lady Alvarez. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. He's on the feed record and he could come back. I'm just looking to see what happens. I just want to see him fight. Obviously, Khabib and Russia would be a great one, be a crazy one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I need to see him make weight, though. Uh, you know, some way I'm rolling over there and he's not making f***ing weight. Just, I, need, I need assurance or I need something. So, again, I'm putting out my, my feelings. They're going to put out theirs and we'll come to an agreement to figure it out. <laughs> Anyway, it was on Wednesday before the fight. It was doing media stuff. And there was a whole bunch of Russian guys throwing him and his trainer, I believe. Uh, or maybe him, I don't remember. And they surrounded him in a circle. And they was making jokes. And me and Khabib were standing far. And they surrounded him, but they were there playing with him. You know, they, they, you know? And this dude was there for like three minutes or two minutes, couldn't get out of the circle. They surrounded him. You know, it, and I was like dying. Fabricio, everybody seem all smile and nice. Fabricio probably one of the meanest guys you can see. If he flip, if I was Connor, and I really mean it, if you know Fabricio is gonna be around, he should hire security. Because if Fabricio said if he saw him, he might slap him. If I was Connor's management, I would ask the UFC, please keep me away from Fabricio or, uh, you know, uh, guarantee you if you talk about certain guys, if you talk certain Khabib, his family or wife or something like that, yeah. you're gonna need to hire security because certain guys gonna go ahead and whip his ass but i'm telling you connor is not safe around fabricio i think the ufc should get him a security Ferguson is is not is is a stupid enough this trade of people like you see him with uh, he fought the junior what's his name the guy he fought he make him dance like chicken what's his name uh Tony Ferguson Venata oh Lando Venata yeah he fought somebody yeah 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 yeah, yeah he uh, Lando yeah Lando my man Lando he make him dance like like yeah. chicken Connor making a statement his yeah. coach is making a statement. You know, for goddamn sure, Connor is not fighting Tony Ferguson. He's not fighting Khabib. This is fact. I don't think Kevin Lee will get a title, uh, a title at Connor either. Because Kevin Lee, I believe, can take Connor down and beat his ass too. You know, he's not fighting these guys. You know, you hear all this report, Connor said, I'm going to go to Rock and fight Khabib. And 
the reason why Dana White found the found the best promoter in any sport. When it comes to this, he's God. Like he promotes. Like he he's the Mike Tyson of promotion. You know what Connor told me? He says, I want Khabib in Russia. <laughs> Is he fucking awesome? He's like, I want Khabib in Russia. And when you say that, he made Connor start go up. Oh, wow. He want to go to Russia and fight this guy. He used to fight there. You know, he fought in lines and stuff. But at the end of the day, Connor is very, very smart business. And you have a good team behind him. Mm -hmm. Why the hell? And the UFC is very smart. Why the hell this guy is bringing you millions and millions of dollars? We'll have, we'll have him go fight someone like Khabib. He's going to take his ass down for five rounds and beat his ass. And, you know, he, he would, every punch, it's like a punching machine. Every time he punch him, the, the money go down. The money go down with the video game. And after that, when Connor finish with him, it's going to be no, mon no more money left for, <laughs> for anybody to grab. It will be a stupid decision for Connor or the US team even thinking about five cabins. If I'm the promoter, I'm going to keep Connor way the f*** because he's not even close to I wouldn't even mention anything. Uh, but you, you already seen the excuses. Oh, he can make way, blah, blah, blah. Listen to me. I'm going to predict this on your story. I will see Connor fighting Justin Gaethje before fighting Ferguson or any of this or Khabib. He what? will fight Justin Gaethje before that. What's the reason? Bro, because Justin Gaethje... Justin Gage is going to stand up with him. Yeah, he's yeah. not going to try to take him down. He's not going to take him to his weakness. He's a, he's a white belt on the ground. Every time you see him went to the ground, he tapped to somebody. I would see Arthur fighting Khabib before Arn Connor do. <laughs>
going for the leg kick, take the leg kick, follow the right hand, and that's exactly what he did. But now Gleason's got him down. Gleason's second. He got his back. Tonight. Lost his back, but yep, lost his control totally. Let him out. This pace that number of Madoff is setting here in the third might be threatening to bow a bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, if he's going to wilt, now's the time. Yep. Three hard rounds of this. I mean, again, folks, if you've never tried this, this doesn't look like much when they're up against the cage, but it's one of the most grueling aspects of the sport. Is it both straining full clip? Watch the fence. Watch the fence. Just Watch over two fence. on the clock here. Take your hands off the fence. I'm going to take a punch on you. Mario's warning made off. Stop from the fence. He's trying to hold on to the fence to keep Glacian in position. And Glacian, again, he's just a brick wall on the take down the fence. And he's trying to get double unders. And he does deliver the knee. On the cage that we saw a moment ago. Look at Mario just waiting. Lightweight fight. There's that big right hand again. Nice lead left. Remember, Bo Madoff is getting urgent. I'm sure the fighter will very soon as well. Well, if he loses this fight, which we both think he probably will lose by decision, if uh, nothing changes in the next 50 seconds or so. It's a learning experience for this young man, you know, to, to step in there and fight a guy who's had so many fights inside the octagon. And, uh, you know, and just see, oh, we clipped him with the right hand, though. With all of Anderson Silva's fans in the stands supporting fellow Brazilian. Nice slip again by Clayson. Clayson's really worked on his head movement. You can see the benefits. Yeah, he, he certainly has become a much more yeah. polished striker, much more technical and relaxed. Nice knee there by Clayson. And then with nice the up, the pit bull He's is going to go all the way to the final bell. Every punch has home run written all over it, too. It was a lot of fun to watch. All three judges score in this contest 30 27. You play the winner by unanimous decision, Habib the Eagle.